Hey everyone, welcome back to Lovely Lavender Wishes. It's Renee. Oh, I'm falling out of my chair. <laughs> Hope you're all having a very blessed day. Um, we are going to be in Psalm 147 today. Um, it's kind of wintry. I mean, maybe where you are, it's wintry. Not by me. We had another heat spell come through Texas. You know, I don't know. I went outside today and I was like, is it cold out? And no, it's short sleeve weather, but I do have a long sleeve shirt on anyways, because it's colder in my house than it is outside. It's crazy. But anyways, so I'm going to be focusing on Psalm 147. Um, this Psalm talks about exalting the Lord and how God restored Jerusalem. And so the people are praising the Lord for his restoration and um, in verse 12, it says, exalt the Lord Jerusalem, praise your God Zion, for he strengthens the bars of your city gates and blesses your children within you. He endows your territory with prosperity. He satisfies you with the finest wheat. Oh, what a great promise that is, right? Um, I mean, it's just, it's not even a promise. It's what God did for them. But then it goes on in, in, in verse 15, it says, he sends his command throughout the earth. His word runs swiftly. He spreads snow like wool. He scatters frost like ashes. He throws his hailstones like crumbs. Who can withstand his cold? Oh my gosh, I love that. That's just like such a cool image in my head. He sends his word and melts them. He unleashes his winds and the water flows. This, this um, word... Uh, <sighs> It's like a word picture in my head. I just have this this vision of this icy, um, frosty, snowy landscape, just pure white snow. And who can withstand his cold? And I saw a page done. Um, somebody did it with uh, the Keys of the Kingdom printable. And I have this printable and I found it. I thought I had it and I found it in my, my uh, inbox or my you know, on my computer. And so I just printed it out and fussy cut it out. But um, they printed out who can withstand his icy blast. And I loved that. So I just printed this um, with uh, a text in my computer and just printed it out, cut it out on a piece of paper. That is it. Um, so here's the printable. Here's this. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using um, an old or, you know, fairly recent new uh, uh, Christmas card that I got. And so if you don't have these printables or whatever, don't worry, grab Christmas cards. So I grabbed this one as well, this little snowman. And I was thinking I can combine these two or I can even combine her. And I really loved the colors with this. I'm going to cut this back part out. So I don't know. I'm debating. I could even put both of them on there. We'll have to kind of fool around and see. But again, if you don't have these printables, use old Christmas cards. I love using old Christmas cards, birthday cards, Easter cards, whatever you have um, in my Bible. Um, and you can cut these up. These are great. You know, I save all my cards and just, you know, use them. And again, here you have um, the, you, if you can see, it's got uh, the, uh, what is that? Kind of like glitter. It's not really glitter. It doesn't come off. So again, that is another way that you can get like the shimmery shine in your Bible or the glitter or whatever without having to actually use glitter and make a mess. <laughs> so this is another great way to get different textures and stuff because this is texturized. You can hear that. It's, um, and if you can see it, you can see it, it's raised. So I love having that texture as well. I'm, I'm like a touchy feely person <laughs> apparently. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to use the cards and this printable. So let me move this to the side. I also grabbed some stamps. I have this like uh, uh, swirly type stamp. Um, and I don't know where I got this. This is from this huge stamp set. Um, and I must have bought this from a garage sale or something because I do not remember purchasing this in a store. So it must have been in like maybe a garage sale or a big um, set I got somewhere along the way, y'all. But I'm going to use, uh, so let's get started. I, I'm, I know I'm just kind of like scattered. It's the new year, y'all. <laughs> I'm trying to get my thoughts in order for 2022. So I'm going to use two different gelatos. These are metallic. Um, one is, uh, let's see, metallic blueberry and one is metallic grape. <laughs> both, both fruits. So I'm going to put this on my... Uh, uh, what is this? My glass piece right here. And I'm going to use a little brush and I'm going to get it started. 
and I'm gonna go lightly. I'm just gonna do some, just some areas. I did not prep this page because I figure I am going to be using um, some embossing powder and Versamark and I don't really think it'll go through. Um, we shall see. And I don't think the gelatos will go through. And actually, I'm gonna grab my plastic sheet to give me a little bit more sturdy base in the background. There we go, that's better. So all I'm doing is taking my brush and just gonna put some color on here. So the verses we are focusing on are verses 15 through 18 um, in this psalm. And we're just gonna kind of make an icy, cold, wintry background. We're gonna try, you know, we'll work on it, we'll try. Let's get this little piece off. And let's see, where did it go? I'm gonna get a little bit more blue. But yeah, I'm gonna try to get myself in the wintry feel. Um, even though it's hot outside. <laughs> Gosh, it's crazy. I want to feel like it's winter. I mean, I, I do not, I am not a cold type of person. I do not usually like the cold. Usually I like the heat and that's why we moved to Texas. Um, but you know, every once in a while, especially during winter, I, you know, I don't mind like a cool day, um, sweater weather, I guess you can call it. I'm originally from Chicago, so I do not miss the, uh, the brutal winters of Chicago. Don't miss that at all. But I do like to have, you know, some cool days. So I'm going to add some purple. Um, again, it's just like this icy feel. I love the, these colors of the blue and purple together. And I do not like it that dark. So I'm gonna go in with some water and kind of fade that out to the background a little bit more. And I'm just kind of doing swirly motions cause we want it to be swirls. Cause it's the icy blast of the Lord's word. And I love how the verse says his word runs swiftly or flows swiftly, let me see, his word runs swiftly. When he says something, and when he orders something, it's going to happen and happen quickly. Sometimes we don't see it happening um, on our side, you know, in our finite view of, you know, perspective. But when God orders something to be done, it gets done. And it's order, and it's, it's gonna happen quick. It'll happen on his time, what, you know. Might not be quick for us, but when, when he orders something done, it's, it's, gone, it's done. <laughs> There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So I really love that about the word. His, his, his word runs swiftly. Okay, and that is it. Like, that's all I'm going to do right there for the background. Just some, just, just a hint of color there. Okay, so let me move all this because we're going to get embossing and I'm going to have all this powder. I'm gonna dry this part real quick before I emboss. Because if you have a wet paper, it won't really work. So I'm gonna dry that. For those of you who are experiencing storms, winter storms, Hopefully you're staying warm enough, snug and warm in your home. Okay. Okay. Hopefully you can see that on camera. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the stamp, I'm gonna take my Versamark, and I'm gonna stamp this stamp as best as I can. Again, I don't mind if this, um, if the stamp stamps perfectly on the page, um, it's kind of like his icy blast. Um, it's kind of like wind, wispy wind. So again, if, you know, I, I miss a couple spots or whatever, to me, it's not that big a deal. Um, so, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see what we can get here. I'm gonna try to get, try to get it all there. Okay, so I'm gonna put this, let's see. 
right there. I'm gonna stand up and push down on all this. I know I'm shaking the camera, y'all, sorry. Okay, and you probably can't see that. I mean, maybe a little bit, I can see it from here. But I'm gonna pull that off and then I'm gonna ha I have this other stamp set as well. And I love this one right here. So I'm going to use that one. Put it on my, my pad here. And then we're gonna do this one as well. I'm trying to think where, maybe I want it to come out like down this way. So I have that come down here. And hopefully that came, let's see. I'm wondering, maybe we'll do another one right there. I try to get it in this. I'm just gonna go like this. <laughs> this is not the way to do it y'all, but I'm gonna do it that way because I couldn't get it in there with that little spot right there, with the, um, whatever this is, the spiral. And then I had this little one too. So I'm gonna add this and I'm trying to see where, if I can go on an angle and try to see where, I put that one there. Maybe that should be good. That should be good. We'll just put that one there. Okay, so now I am going to let's see, move all that to the side. Now I have, now we're into the messy part. I have this uh, really br uh, bright blue. I have this holographic or iridescent ice one and I have white. I think huh, I'm gonna do this iridescent. So I'm gonna shake this. on a few parts and I'm going to, okay, this is the hard part. I'm going to lift the book and kind of shake it off onto this piece of paper here on the side. Sorry y'all. You gotta do it um, piece by piece or section by section, color by color, I guess. So I'm gonna Put all that back in there. And now I'm going to go in with some of this blue on parts that that did not get it. Get the So we're gonna have a little bit of all these colors hopefully blended. Okay, I'm gonna Okay. I want to get some blue up here. And some blue up here. So I'm trying to get the parts that did not get the iridescent on it with the blue. We'll see how this turns out. Hopefully, hopefully it all work. Okay, I'm gonna put this piece of paper here. This is so hard with this thick, thick book. Okay. I am making such a mess, y'all. Okay, let me try to do this with one hand and knock this. I don't know if you can see that. Let me move this so I don't make the biggest mess ever. Okay. Okay, let me put this in here. Okay. It's really hard to do this part on camera and try to stay on camera so y'all can see what I'm doing. 
Okay. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna grab a brush, and I'm gonna go in and just brush off the parts that I don't want. And if you can see, like some parts have blue, some parts have the iridescent part. I'm gonna brush that off because I don't want that line. I don't know where that came from. Some are iridescent here, some got the little blue. I love that. Okay. Okay, so now we are going to get the heating tool and get this embossed. Let me move this over here. And these two colors will hopefully blend into each other. See it starting to melt. So cute. I love embossing. This is so cool. I just wanna make sure I got it all. Go over it all one more time. Cute, okay. Okay, so can you all see that? See how, so some parts are the iridescent and then some parts are the blue, and they all just kind of blended in together a little bit in different areas, and that's what I want. I want to like this wispy feel. So it worked, woohoo! <laughs> okay, that was the hardest part right there. And I was gonna do white, but now I'm thinking just the iridescent should be good. I'm gonna cover this side. Okay, let me make sure on camera. Okay, whoo! Kind of blow it all off. And then when you put your hand, when you rub your hand over it, oops, okay, right there, that's not all melted yet. So rub your hand over it, you'll find out. If, you, if you're rubbing off any powder, that means it's not completely melted. So I'm gonna go over it just one more time, just to verify, make sure. So when you rub your hand over it, if you're rubbing off some powder, some of the bossing powder, that means it's not completely done, melted. But when you heat it up, it melts together and then it forms um, like this plastic kind of over the sh on your paper. It's just really cool. I love it. So I'm just rubbing off all the little extra pieces here. Oh, yes, I love it. It looks so cool, like right here. And then when the light hits it, you get this holographic look, um, this icy, from the icy parts from this one. This is iridescent ice. So you get these like little shimmery, shiny parts. It's cool. Okay, so oh, got powder everywhere, y'all. We'll, we'll, we'll clean it all up. Okay, so in the meantime now, let's see, what do we wanna do? Okay, so I have this and this, and let me grab my cutter bee. So what I was thinking of doing is using these. So I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna actually tear this. Maybe use that for something else. Um, 
I'm thinking I am going to cut around these uh, snowflakes. And this is gonna kind of like be a border. And I want some of the blue showing. I just don't want this middle picture in it with these little Indians. I don't need them. So I'm just all the way up so I'm just cutting these snowflakes out as a border so again I have an already made border for me and I don't even really have to do anything extra so that's gonna be cool oh I love this big one so this snowflake right here so I'm just gonna kind of this so see look that's gonna be kind of like a border and then I want maybe this to even come up more we'll kind of combine the two might as well use it all and we'll see how we can add it all in here. Wonder if there's a way I can try to combine these two like that a little bit better. And there's my little Indians. We can put them to the side. Maybe we could use them for something later or different. Um, oh, that looks neat. Okay. I don't need that little piece. Sometimes you just never know how it's going to turn out. Now I'm wondering, do I want this piece there or do I want it to come down? And then I can maybe put that someplace else or do I want it? Well, maybe that does look good like that. We can glue that. Ooh, it's starting to really look wintry to me. Okay, so now I'm just gonna glue these. So let's see, she is gonna go underneath. So we're gonna glue her first. And all I did was fussy cut her out. I did it off camera because, you know, it just takes a while for me to fussy cut. And I do it while I watch TV. And So she's going to go under. Under and over, maybe? Or just under? Maybe she'll go. Let's pull her up a little right about there. I love the fact that she's covering her eyes. It's like, who can withstand it? She can't, we can't. Nobody can withstand God's icy blast when he sends it your way. His word is so powerful. And if, you've ever, if any of you have ever been in <laughs> some brutal winters with the wind chill and the wind blowing at your face it's sometimes all you can do is like cover your eyes like that and just try to walk into the wind because being from Chicago we had those you know called the Windy City we had some of those you know brutal brutal winds and they would literally they would go right through you to the point where you'd be so cold there's no way you can get warm I mean there's just there's no way there there are some months where I felt like I could never get warm <laughs> Like, just because the, the wind would just, it would literally, like they say, go through to your bones. Um, and yeah, I definitely do not miss those days and that weather. But, and that's what this kind of reminds me of. It's reminding me of, like, you know, it literally, it goes through right to your bones. That cold, cold blast. 
And when God, you know, sends his Arctic blast, there's nobody who can withstand it. So who can withstand his icy blast? Nobody. And I'm thinking, do we want to put that like right there? Yeah, I think I'm going to just put that right there. I definitely cannot withstand his icy, icy blast. And there we go. I think that's, is that our page? I think so. There we go, y'all. So who can withstand? So let me, let me see if I have, I have to find a blue, blue little marker, blue pen somewhere. I thought I had one. Or here, let me. Let me grab my my uh, colored pencils here. Let's see, this one's a good one. Yeah, that aqua blue, I like this aqua blue. So, who can withstand his cold or who can withstand his icy blast? I like that, I like that phrasing better. Who can withstand his cold or his icy blast? So actually, I'm gonna say, I actually am gonna underline all of this because I really like his word runs swiftly. He spreads snow like wool. He scatters frost like ashes. He throws his hailstone like crumbs. You know, you all seen those hail. Some people have, you know, recorded like hailstones like this big, like softballs. And he just throws them like crumbs. Like he, you know, it's nothing to God. And then I love this. He sends his word and melts them. He can just melt it. He unleashes his winds and the water flows. Wind and water are two of the most powerful forces. Well, I mean, besides gravity and I mean, there's, there's a lot of powerful forces, but again, God controls all the forces y'all, but like wind can be super strong. Water can be super strong, all of it. And you know, and for God, that's like nothing. That is nothing. That's like, like it says here, it's like crumbs to him. It's like, ah, easy peasy, you know, nothing. Like, God is just so powerful. And this is like, this page reminds me of that as well. And this one, like I said, reminds me of like those icy, icy cold winters in Chicago. And like, who can withstand that? Like, God just, God can just whisper. He can just whisper. And for us, it's like, it goes right through to our bones, like these icy blasts. Oh, yeah, this, the, this word picture here is just incredible for me. I have so many images going on in my head right now. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed that. And, uh, yeah, maybe this will all get you in the wintry mood if you aren't already or if you haven't been dealing with winter like I haven't down here. It's been kind of warm here, but this is getting me in the mood. So let me bring this up closer. And there is, I don't know if you can see in the light, there's the embossing, the, the um, like the wisps of wind coming through. And then even this card, this card has um, like little glittery images in the card up here you know all in the snowflakes so when it hits the light you can see the shimmer and shine there as well so of course gotta have some shimmer and shine on my page but there we go so that was psalm 147 and we focused on verses 15 through 18 so anyways hope you all have a very warm winter <laughs> stay warm even with the arctic blasts blowing y'all thanks so much i'll see you next time bye